EA came under fire last year for posting links to branded gun websites on their website for Medal of Honor Warfighter. And they've announced recently that they're going to stop paying for licenses for branded guns in their games. I was actually surprised they were paying for branded licenses for guns at all. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. That's, it makes sense, though. Why? Uh, because if they want to depict these guns in their games, mm -hmm. clearly these guns are, I don't want to call them an intellectual property, but, you know, these guns were created by a company for profit, and even though you don't, and they're not using the guns, they're not buying physical versions of the guns, they're putting physical depictions of the guns. It's like if you used uh, a licensed character in your game, you would have to pay for that character. Are you saying that guns are people? Um, no, but people who make guns have rights to their property, just like anybody else, right? Well, they're still going to keep using those guns, but they're not going to pay for licenses anymore, they say. Brilliant financial strategy. Okay, but there is, there is reason cut why. Costs, CA. Listen. We're just not going to pay for it anymore. So they're saying that they still have the legal right to depict branded weapons in its products, likening the games to novels and other narrative-based media. Uh, said a spokesperson, we're telling a story and we have a point of view. Uh, a book doesn't pay for using the word cult, for example. So I think that's pretty fair, actually, because I do think that video games sh do count as a form of media, of a way of telling a story, of a way of, it's, it's, it's the same to me as a movie may, would be, or a book, or a song to a lesser extent. I feel like it is a legitimate form of expression. And it is protected by the First Amendment, BT dubs. Oh, OK. Yeah. So you're saying that I can write a song that, that names a specific... Um, sure. Doesn't that happen all the time? Right, but then if someone wants to use that song in a video game, then I have to get paid. Maybe I don't understand where intellectual property lines yeah. are. Well, I think we are allowed to mention brands and names. I mean, if you're doing some kind of story, which they are. Oh, I know, like in movies, in films. Yeah. Like, if you How don't get the rights to Coca-Cola or Budweiser, like, you have to cover that up or turn the well, bottle around and make a said, fake one. They said book instead of movie, because yeah. it's not actually, like... I would, I would say, I mean, call me crazy, but I would liken a video game more to a movie than a book. Yeah, I mean, that is, more, that is fair now that you say it, because it is a visual medium. Yes. Yes! Tim's right for once! <laughs> we're so Had proud. Had to happen once. But I'm stoked. I was, I was surprised that people were paying for the like, likenesses of gun brands. I didn't know they were doing this at all. And also, I don't care if there's a name brand gun in a game. I would actually prefer if they were fake crazy guns, like in Borderlands. I don't know what TDR or Doll is, and I'm never going to buy it. But it's, you know. There's a huge culture out there that is both into video games and first person shooters mm -hmm. and gun culture. Well, Medal and of Honor. Seeing Warfighter. those real guns in the game is a pretty big deal for some people. Well, not for me, but I hear that it is a big deal for our director. All right, yes. Yeah, so Who's I remember, in the like, dark? I play, started playing Counter-Strike when I was, I don't know, like in the year 2000, and that really got me into guns and whatever, because they would say all the names of the guns in the game. And after that, seeing like a Steyr Aug or a Desert Eagle in a movie, or going to the gun store and seeing them, I would practically shit my pants. <laughs> so it gets you really excited when you see that after playing it in a video game. And pants just, shittingly excited? Yeah. See, I don't understand this. So did you ever play any other kind of game and you saw maybe a different brand of a car, and you thought you might like that car one day? Uh, a little bit. I don't know. Guns and cars are a lot different. Like, I feel... Yeah, cars are useful for, to me. Yeah. And I want one. Okay. <laughs> I, I think if you set up a quiz where you had to identify in, in games which guns were real-life games and which uh -huh. ones were made up, I would fail that quiz. I think I would, too. I mean... What's, I, maybe it's not something we understand as non-gun enthusiasts. What's interesting is that the role that these gun manufacturers played in the making of the game, because mm -hmm. they worked closely with the, the gun manufacturers right, and designers, and made sure that the real-life guns performed exactly the same way in the game. Their rate of fire, the, mm -hmm. the kickback, the, the speed, muzzle velocity. Well, they, That's they work, really interesting, They work right? with real-life veterans, too, to see if they can capture that kind of narrative. I mean... Does that make you want to join the army too? Well, <laughs> no, very few things make me want to join the army. But I'm wondering now that EA is saying, oh, we're not paying for these anymore. We're just they're, gonna do they're it. They're clearly not gonna get that support from these gun manufacturers Someone's anymore. Someone's not supporting EA? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh shit. 
<laughs> That's groundbreaking. So, I mean, I'm interested to see how this will change the games that EA produces. Whether Do you think people the NRA will get involved at all? Do you think we're going to see La Wayne LaPierre going, we hate EA now and they are against Americans owning guns and seeing them in games. Well, if what you're saying is true and that EA has the law on their side, there's not much they can do. They'll lose something. I mean, maybe the gamers will respect them less and, you know, say, well, this, the rate of fire on this op is way off. I'm not playing this game. I, maybe. I don't know. I'm not one of those guys. But I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Sure. I mean, is it, does it matter to you if you see a name brand and it's exactly performing like a real gun in real life? Or does it not matter? I feel like, to me, it doesn't. But let me know what you think.